We developed a standard focused on uh, our industry and uh, it's different from all the others. We have our focus on the input side. That means we developed the input stream management system. First of all, we check all the chemicals in a very deep level they goes in the supply chain. This is one point. The other point is we make a so-called blue sign screening in a factory itself. We check everything that goes in from materials, chemicals, but also from a resource point of view, energy like gas, electricity, water. And in the same time, we check all the process they are involved to produce textiles and we have a look on the end of the process. That means the end of pipe. And so we check the air emission, the water emission. And between the input and the output is always a workplace. So we have to take care also about the workers. They are uh, confronted with chemicals and processes. The original project was so-called Blue Planet. And then we decided to make uh, this sign, this blue sign, because it's much more than a test at the end at the final product. Then we believe this is too late. We have to check everything is involved in the supply chain so that we can bring at the end of the day a transparency in our industry. We are very proud in Europe that we developed 40 different eco labels and worldwide we have more than 80 eco labels. And the problem is now that uh, the consumer at the end, he cannot make a differentiation and he don't really know what is behind. And I think that's a difficulty at the moment. And as more as more greenwashing is, is, a, is a topic and we see now the biggest uh, effort is in the marketing departments. And um, that uh, brings not uh, a clear information to the supply chain and at the end to the consumer. So I believe that in the future transparency would be the goal, the goal for the, the good brands.